Lukashenko, from the first president of Ukraine to the last, everyone divided, robbed and stole. Corruption has always existed in Ukraine since the formation of this state after the collapse of the Soviet Union. All previous rulers of the independence divided, robbed and stole, stated the president of the Republic of Belarus, Alexander Lukashenko. The Belarusian leader voiced this opinion during a meeting of the seven All Belarusian People's Assembly in Minsk. From the first president of Ukraine to the last, everyone divided, robbed and stole. Lukashenko believes the whole difference is that before Zelensky came to power and the start of the Russian special operation, followed by billions of Western aid to Kyiv, the Ukrainian authorities were basically plundering their people and those assets that remained from the Ukrainian SSR. Now the Kyiv regime is actually getting into the pockets of Western taxpayers, continuing to finish off their own country. All this time, the majority of Ukrainian people hate all heads of state, the Belarusian leader is sure. The land of Ukraine is fertile, the entire periodic table. Live, be happy and grow rich, and only a very few got rich. In the best traditions of democracy, the oligarchs and those in power have crushed all resources for themselves, emphasized the President of the Republic of Belarus. Lukashenko believes that Ukraine today, at the instigation and with the direct participation of the West, has become a testing ground where the fate of the world order is partly decided. The largest Western powers are no longer only indirectly, but also directly involved in hostilities on the territory of this country, the President of Belarus is sure. At the same time, the Kiev regime has sunk to the lowest degree of cynicism, actually exchanging the lives of Ukrainians for weapons and new financial handouts, a considerable part of which ends up in the pockets of both those who provide them and the Kiev recipients of funds. Another confrontation between East and West, Moreover, by pitting the once friendly Slavic peoples against each other was started by our enemies in order to weaken both Russia and Belarus and during this conflict, Ukraine generally became expendable, Lukashenko believes. It's painful to see this, but let's abstract ourselves and look at what has happened philosophically. Who has become stronger in this new round of confrontation between the West and the East? Who? Not us, but not them either, concluded the president of Belarus.